In 2009, government instructed that Paramount Queen Mothers should be given allowances for the first time. Five years later, the National House of Chiefs has instructed Regional House of Chiefs to appoint two Queen Mothers from each region to represent them on the national level. But what role will these Queen Mothers be playing? We'll be talking to the Minister of Chiefs Tenancy and Traditional Affairs about this. This is a very important thing for our democratic experiment, you know, empowering uh, women. And uh, you couldn't get a more influential uh, woman in society, our traditional society, than the Queen Mother or Queens or whatever. Bear in mind that there are some women chiefs in Ghana. In some areas you have women chiefs, in some areas you have queen mothers. But the fact is that they are all female traditional rulers. And uh, they play a very important role in our society. When you say a chief in Ghana, it also means a queen mother. And so that being the case, uh, it's only right that uh, you have uh, the queen mothers reflected in the various levels of chief tenancy administration. And uh, I believe that uh, that's where we've got to. There are certain kinds of disputes or uh, marital issues where the queen mothers come in to settle disputes. According to the minister, the newly built National House of Chiefs Project Secretariat will help facilitate the works of chiefs in the society. He is, however, raising concerns with infrastructure to accommodate the 20 paramount queen mothers expected to join the National House of Chiefs soon. It's actually, it's not just a... Uh, 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 overnight, then it has been going. It, uh, the, the, the talk has been there for some time. Queen mothers are going to be on the football pitch and play hard, you know. To the, the message, it should be loud and clear that we've got a stage in our development that uh, the, the 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 female divide. That's the traditional rule. The the, the queen mother should, you know, their presence should be felt uh, and positively. The involvement and participation of Queen Mothers in cultural and societal decisions have always raised resistance from cultural enthusiasts. But Dr. Dana insists although they have faced opposition, the National House of Chiefs, together with the Ministry of Chiefs Tenancy and Traditional Affairs, are bent on ensuring Queen Mothers are represented. Deborah Smolilomote, reporting for ETV News.